In this video, I'm going to show you how to use SendGrid with Python. Full disclosure, I tried it earlier this morning, um, and then it, it, it didn't work. I was getting this no modules error, this one here, and couldn't figure it out. Um, so what I've done is I've actually pulled it up here. I'm, I downloaded, instead of using pip install SendGrid, which was giving me this no modules, like, I have it installed. So if I do, look at my device. Um, Python, sorry, pip install, and then I type in sendgrid, which is, according to the docs, what you're supposed to do. Installation, pip install, sendgrid. I get um, already satisfied, right? Python jumps me into the Python quick start, import sendgrid. Right? I do import sendgrid. No module named sendgrid. So, couldn't figure this out. Um, still haven't quite, because I, I, I I don't I don't know what would be causing that error. Um, solutions direct path to the, the the folder, and that's exactly what I do. And that's not the point. Like you really should be using um, pip because it's a package manager, right? you know. But I went went over to the uh, python pod python org slash. I just looked up SendGrid in the search, and uh, scroll all the way to the bottom, and they give you two files. I downloaded this one. I unzipped it. And here's the pi here's the SendGrid library. I'm just gonna use the the library. So that's and that kind of hopefully explains why I have different um, clips uh, for this video. So I'm gonna jump back to what I previously had from for the morning. Um, so we're gonna get started. What you needed to do is go to SendGrid.com and sign up for an account. Um, that will give you an API key and things like that. This may also do a charge. Um, that's usually at a high when you start sending lots of emails. Please also be aware that these cause maker um, that there's actually a lot of laws and stuff associated with emails, and that's just simply because um, like in Canada you have to have an unsubscribe button. Um, these anti-spam laws and stuff. So take a look at those if if you are getting started with SendGrid. Anyways, so check it. Go to SendGrid.com. I have it open here. Uh, you want to log in. Top right corner. I'm just currently logging in. And the other thing you want to do is go to github.com slash sendgrid, which is the company, and then you want the you want the we're gonna go get the Python pack um we're gonna get the Python library. I uh, just library, I guess you could say. Um and that this is how we're gonna send our emails. Like they make it incredibly simple. So you have to have pip installed, I have videos on that. You also have Python installed. Um, and I'm gonna do this all on Mac OS, so so I'm just currently on my root. I'm just gonna jump over my desktop, make a new directory, call it uh, SendGrid Demo. Switch into SendGrid Demo. Create a new file. Those are just some just basic. And then first thing I'm gonna do is I have pip installed, so I'm gonna go pip install SendGrid. And it's gonna download SendGrid. Get everything installed. I'm on five version 5.2, and then it has an HTTP HTTP client. I'm not expecting that, but like that's all they have. A lot of these libraries are just a REST API, and they they build off an HTTP client um, using objects to make it simple. So they have a bunch of instructions on how to set up your environment. I recommend actually following them. I'm just going to do it in a kind of a cheating way. I'm going to um, simply like just put the API key right in um, right in the file okay and so what I want is my desktop and my sendgrid demo and I got my file here I'm just copying the example code they gave me like right off the github readme file and so this is gonna be your API key This is going to be your from email, your to email, and so the one thing about this is you have to understand that SendGrid is also limiting the number of times you can actually send emails from like a Gmail or something like that. So you almost need a custom domain. Um, I think they still allow it for now, but I think they were talking about removing that. So just be aware of that. So I send I can send emails from like you know this would if you're setting up a, a website you want to send like a note from like no reply or something like that would be a good example. 
So I'm just going to set that up. So I email myself. Um, I'm, I'll just send this exact demo uh, just to show it works. Um, so as you can see, like I didn't change anything here except the emails, and then I got to change the API key. Um, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna move this up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm just adding a file here. As you can see, it's an empty variable. Um, and what I'll do is I'll add my API key in here and then scroll down so you can't see it. Um, and that in that way I can just and then just reference the file here. Okay, so I'm gonna jump back to my face when I go fetch my API key. Um, so I'm just gonna log in. I, I guess I didn't log in there. And this is my dashboard and API keys is under here. So we're gonna create one actually. Say full access um, demo Python, and then we're actually gonna delete it after. And so it's there. I copied it. I guess I don't actually need to hide it. Okay. So now that I have my API key inserted, I'm going to. Now that I have my API key inserted, I'm going to run this Python script. And sign into my email. Let's jump over my email now. Okay, I've signed into my email. You should do the same. I'm gonna send an email from uh, this email and back to itself. And so I'm gonna run this demo here. So Python demo.py, which is running Python 2.7, the demo file, and the demo file is this content here. Sending from my personal email back to my personal email. And here we go. Running that. No module named SendGrid. I literally just okay. Now that we're back here, um, so I actually didn't have SendGrid properly, and so, uh, the modules didn't work for me. So what I'm going to do with this demo email folder is instead of import um, SendGrid, I'm going to import a direct path. Therefore, copying and pasting this SendGrid folder into into this demo email. Uh, folder. Now you're probably wondering where the demo email folder came in. Um, read on Stack Overflow that if you changed it from someone changed their their SendGrid um, folder name, and that's what it fixed it from like this exact same error I was getting. So I did that, and so it was originally called SendGrid demo, but then I changed it to be demo email. Didn't change anything. Added, I added the init.py. Someone said that would change things. Didn't change anything. So. I'm, I'm, I was running out of solutions, so I just downloaded the SendGrid folder here. Um, SendGrid, and copy that, close that, paste that in there. Um, yeah, and so I'm mean, now going to set up using a direct path. Okay, so now I, I looked it up here. As you can see on my screen, I have this um, import from a direct path. Um, it says it tells me I need init.py. I'm just going to take a look at um, this. It doesn't actually have an init.py. What I actually want is this folder, so I'm going to copy and paste that out. And then I need this requirements. I can sort of paste that in here. And that's everything that this SendGrid library needs. And the reason why I'm going to do that is so I can go pip install. I think it's requirements.txt. And what it does is it, it goes through. I missed a dash R. So what I'm going to do here, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to install all the requirements from this requirements text file. And so it uses Flask, uses PyAll, whatever it is here. And try this again, Python, import send grid should fail. Oh, no, yeah, that works, but um, it doesn't have a Python HTTP client here. So we're gonna quit. That would be the next error we get. I'm going to do a pip install. It's already satisfied, okay.
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just test this. If you're not having any of this, these issues, um, just jump ahead. I'll put a comment. I'll pin it to the top to tell you where you just jump to. But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go through and fix all these issues. Import. That doesn't work. Um, quit. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did with the same grid. I'll download the actual root folder. I don't know why I have to do this, and I don't recommend doing this. Um, I was going to hold off on making this video, but for easy install, let's try that one. Permission denied. Pseudo. Import Python HTTP client Download this one too, then. This now, paste that in there. Now try this again. Boom! It worked. So that's one solution. Uh, I got the import send grid working. So let's actually see if my script works that we wrote. Clear this, and then I have a Python demo. Dot, dot. Remember, what was the solution to this? Everything's satisfied. So, I'm going to do Python demo.py, which should send an email from my email back to my email. Unauthorized error. See, API unauthorized is most likely most likely your HTTP client isn't accepted. Your API key, sorry. Um, what if I just say screw this? You guys have all seen my API key, so it will be deleted before you guys can actually use it. Copy. in there. I'm just going to verify that this will work because the send grid dot is going to the send grid folder and then it uses a send grid API class and passes in an object. Interesting. And that object is used Two of two. Content length. Oh, I don't know what two two. Accepted. I'm taking. I'm gonna take a look at my email right now. Just refreshing the page. And boom, here it is. As you can see on my screen right now, up here, um, I just sent an email using SendGrid for the first time. I'm sorry about the complications in this video, but I, I kept them in there because I figured if I had them, someone else may also have them. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also please subscribe because I'm coming up with a new video every week. Just finished actually figuring out that SendGrid stuff that wasn't working this morning. And uh, my partner in crime here, Harley, is completely asleep.